Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Stranded Alien Dawn with Emmeline, Jack, Quinn, and Rita. In the last video, we got ourselves in a pretty self-sustained position. We are producing a whole load of food for ourselves. We got most of our immediate needs being met, and we do actually have access to some power, which is going to give us a lot of options going forward. So everything's looking pretty good right now. That can change pretty quickly, though, because winter is coming. It's not going to be that much longer before it starts getting really, really cold outside. That's one reason it's going to be important for us to go ahead and start sewing up some additional clothes so that people are going to stay nice and warm. We also need to make sure that we have plenty of food to last the winter. That's one reason I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, the drying of red meat over here. So we have some jerky and we're researching pickling, which is going to put some of these fermentation barrels to good use. You don't have to make just wine with these things. You can, in fact, also pickle up some vegetables. That'll be a good use for our buttermelons. Now, something else we need to worry about, of course, is going to be heat. And I don't think that going for veggie armor right now is the top priority. Going for wind turbines and then heat pumping would probably make a lot more sense. That way, we have an AC unit that functions as a double heat pump that can actually get heat into the system. I like that. Now, in order to speed up our research, I think one thing we're going to go ahead and do is deconstruct some stuff over here. And we're going to expand out our house turn this into a researching and crafting and storage area that ultimately can still be hooked up to the same network of heaters. That way we don't have to waste too many resources keeping everyone nice and warm and we can keep doing our jobs without freezing our butts off. So that's going to be the next big construction project. I am also very concerned about our base's defense. So far we've been fighting a bunch of very small insects and that's not been that big of a deal. But, um, there are bigger, scarier things that go bump in the night, and eventually we are going to draw their attention. Having some defenses up and running would be very nice, ranging from traps to some basic fences and so on. I do think that this would be a good idea. Um, it is going to be a fairly expensive endeavor, and honestly, if you really want to have the best defense, you kind of want to have uh, at least the turrets set up, whether that be flamethrowers or automated turrets. And I'm nowhere near that point. We've got a lot of other research we need to do first. Yeah, top priority is getting a good, consistent researching area so we're able to knock through these techs as quickly as possible. But as soon as this building is set up, getting some basic walls would be a good idea. What the heck did I just find? A railgun sniper? Huh. Slow attack rate, but a lot of damage at a very long range. That feels like an amazingly lucky find, if I'm honest. I want that. Pickling research is done, which means we can come over here and we can start fermenting some pickled vegetables. Hooray! Pickled buttermelon. It sounds repulsive to me, but if you guys like it, you know, good for you. It's starting to get real cold outside, only 5 degrees Celsius. I'm going to close up all of the windows. Not that I think it's going to make very much of a difference because we are not fan uh, fantastically insulated, but... Uh, it would be nice to at least get these closed so we don't have a draft coming in. People are going to start getting very cold very soon. And that's one more reason we really need to get this research done. Let's go ahead and get the advanced research desk built up. Uh, where do we want to place this thing? Good question. Not right here because I'm going to have a vent. Well, let's see. Hang on. If I want to place down a air vent right along here using some metal, can I also place down a desk underneath it? Yes, we can, but I don't like the look of having our desk right up against the doorway, so we're going to leave that alone as is. Place down a little bit more storage shelves over here. I've already moved in the tailoring bench and the workbench. Uh, we probably can get ourselves a bit more storage for these. Let's do something kind of like this, and these will be kind of like some obvious shelves. We could do something like this, actually, and just stack them up here. Yeah, that's just as accessible and a little bit more space efficient. I love it. We also eventually might place down something like an oil press over here. But I think it takes cloth in order to actually strain out any oils. And I don't have any cloth because that's something we used up a long time ago. And I have no way of making any of it until we do some more scavenging. So, yeah, there's no point in getting an oil press up and running quite yet. Advanced research desk is done. All right, let's go ahead and deconstruct the regular research desk. I'm not sure how much faster this thing is than a regular desk. It doesn't really specify, but it's supposed to be better at the cost of electricity. And I totally believe it. So we'll go ahead and just use this and not risk anyone wasting their time on the dumb, stupid, not smart desk. Oh, goody. We've got some more aggressive animals. All right, where are they? Um, there's a bunch of beetles over here. I see at least four explodey boys. Oh, boy. That's, um... 
That's actually going to be a lot to deal with, if I'm honest. It's going to be hard to kite those guys around sufficiently to actually deal with them. Jack, I know you're not exactly in the best of moods right now. You're actually on the verge of a meltdown. But we might need to get you to equip the nice big gun and see if you can take some of those guys out. In fact, I hate to say it, but I think that needs to be what, I, what you need to do right now. Go equip the sniper rifle, draft up, and let's see if we can snipe some of the big boys. And that really is an incredible range, isn't it? Does it get their attention? Well, we have one attacking me, yeah. Okay, actually, a bunch of them are attacking me. Right, I need the rest of you guys to help then. Hang on, Emelyn, um, can you please get the better weapon? Right now, uh, the other two, uh, draft and go help. Um, and Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Uh, okay, you, you, you missed your big shot. Time to run, time to run. Holy crud, time to run. <laughs> and, okay, they're no longer aggressive. Perfect, the fools, they lost line of sight. Blow up the splody boys, thank you. The good thing about this is it looks like we actually may have drawn small pieces of the group. So I'm gonna let these guys deal with the small bugs as they don't really scare me that much. And Jack, go take another shot at some of these explosives. This sniper rifle might actually be quite the game changer for me right now. So did we deal with them all at this point? Um, I don't think I see any more aggressive bugs. Let's see, do 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 mm, Well, there was something here apparently. Explosive Scarabai, there is one more. They're not listed as aggressive animals anymore, but they are here. There you are. Would hate to find out that this guy's still roaming around and I get a nasty surprise. All right, so now we hopefully can finish this research up pretty quick. Um, the heat pumping says two days maximum. Imagine that's gonna be a lot faster now, but okay. We have access to the wind turbines. How is our battery looking? For the most part, okay, but it's not charging very rapidly anymore because this research bench is gonna be taking up a fair bit of that. Let's go ahead and get at least one of these wind turbines up and running. Now, as far as where you place it, I'm not sure if it actually makes any sort of a difference. I would imagine higher up could make some sense, so maybe down over this direction? Yeah, we could do something like this as long as it actually connects up to our power pole. Who really cares, right? That should be fine. Although I wonder how this uh, rock face over here is going to affect the aerodynamics of this region. It's either going to have a bit of a pressure buildup which slows down some of the wind flow and actually is a terrible spot for this wind turbine, or in order to build, get around that pressure buildup, we're going to actually have faster airflow, therefore even more power. Yep. That's how I know this is going to be the perfect location for a wind turbine. And if this video game does not reflect those mechanics with extreme accuracy, oh, well, then that just means this is a sucky game. Oh, God, it's a thunderstorm. Actually, thunderstorms are a good thing for me right now because we have this lightning rod now hooked up thanks to a power pull. And if we get struck by lightning, that's just free power that goes into the battery. I mean, yeah, you might think it's going to overcharge the cells or something, but no, it'll be fine. Oh, okay, that was our first Zappo. All right, and the battery is now full. Uh-huh, see how that works? It's great. Ah, there's another strike right there. Hello, are we full again? <laughs> yes, we are. All right, thunderstorms are free power. Oh, God, no, not the meat rack. We're having some risks of meltdown, which is not going to be good for me. Tell you what, um, maybe we can make ourselves a bit of a fruit flambe. Yes, we have alcoholic beverages, and we have some fruit. Let's go ahead and make this like four times. That way we know that everyone is going to have a chance to eat a fruit flambe and recover their mood. There goes Emlyn, picking up some berries, I guess. She's gonna harvest some fresh berries straight from the field in order to cook it up into a fruit flambe. Oh man, that's a quality restaurant right there, you know? Locally sourced and all that, it's gonna be great. Jack, where the freaking heck are you? Holy crud, Jack, okay, it's not important enough, Jesus. Forget that olfin. I don't want this one that badly. Go home, bud. And pickled vegetables are now going to be a thing as well. Excellent. We're just gonna go ahead and keep doing that for a bit, I think. I mean, yeah, I would like to make a little bit more wine every once in a while, if possible, but get in some more of these pickled vegetables. It's a very good use of my buttermelons. Yeah, you lose some food value because 100 becomes effectively 50, but it stores so much longer. It's totally worth it, in my opinion. Now, I do worry a bit about whether we are crafting enough stuff. Emelyn, if you're not cooking, I'm going to ask you to make uh, tailoring a priority. We very, very badly need to start crafting up some additional winter coats. Not to mention, I'd like to have some spare shoes and pants and stuff. All of that's going to be important. But again, unless I can also find a way of getting some fabrics, we don't have any shirts currently available to us. And that's going to be a problem at some point. I don't know how to make cloth in the game, uh, at least not as of yet. There is a way of making chemical cloth synthetics out of our extra fuel, 
But fuel is also a precious resource, and I don't really feel like wasting it if I don't have to. Well, in the meantime, let's start thinking about some defenses. I've got a good amount of lumber at the moment. Um, so there's a few things you can do here, right? You can place down some fences, and the big tall poles are easily the best way to go as far as having some defenses there. Or, I mean, I guess you could go for the stone as well, but the low things like these wooden fences, it's easy for enemies to see over them. You can shoot over them too, but that's not going to work well for certain types of enemies. You want to have some larger defenses here. I'm not sure if the pole fence actually is going to do the job either, though. This is a low barrier. Hmm... Maybe what we're supposed to research is the wooden fortifications. Ah, yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Okay. So you can place down some very small, mediocre fences. I guess whatever's cheap and fast right now is probably going to be a good way to go. So let's go for, let's say, I don't know, a stick fence or something. Okay? We'll just set up a little thick fence off in this direction over here. It's going to be huge. It's going to take up a lot of sticks. It's going to take up a lot of time. But it's okay. Pretty much all of this is going to get replaced at some point. This is just for some temporary stuff. Because the good news is, the bugs are, generally speaking, not exactly smart. Um, if you place down, let's say, a big fence gate or something, like this one right over here, for example. Uh, I think it faces this way. Yeah, there we go. Um, and you have walls that fully encompass the base. They almost always will try to go through the gate here. It's like the old RimWorld pathing system, right? Which makes it pretty easy to manipulate the suckers. So that's one of the reasons I want to get some of these basic fences set up. Because a small barrier still goes a long way to controlling the flow so I know where my enemy is going to appear. It's going to get even better at some point once I have the fortifications researched. Because then I can set up some uh, tower defenses up on the edges of the walls in the large palisades. Where I can have some people get up into a tower and just shoot enemies as they are running into my gate. A very easy way to get off a few extra shots. And then with this big gate, something else we'll be able to do is set up some traps. Now, scrap metal and stuff is probably our friend right along here. But if I set up, let's say, a few traps like this using some scrap metal, this is a good way to lock down some enemies, which gives me a chance to just shoot them for a bit longer before they can attack me. Rita has caught the common cold. Great. How did you guys catch the common cold? We are on an alien planet. The same virus or bacteria or whatever else is uh, responsible for the cold. Uh, it's not on our planet. I mean, I guess you guys must have brought it with you when you crash land and it's already found its way to become an invasive species and multiply on the world. Absolutely horrible. What have you guys done? You've destroyed a whole ecosystem. Heat pumping tech is done. Okay, this is going to help us quite a lot. We could have placed down some heaters using some metal alloys and it would have consumed a very small amount of power to heat things up, but not by much. An air conditioning unit like this is going to be oh so much more effective. Let's place a big one up over there. And I might even set one up over here. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to need both. Theoretically, no, as long as we've got these air vents. But I wouldn't mind having both just in case. Let's just build one for now and kind of see how well this works. Mm, see, Rita now just got pneumonia. We can use some of our medicine as antibiotics, and that is going to be important for us. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit nasty. All right, so we now have an air conditioner. I'm going to say that the target temperature for now is, let's say, eh, 16 degrees Celsius. Still really, really cold but warmer than things are right now because outside it's negative one degree celsius indoors it's zero degrees that is freezing right there quite literally so i'm hoping that this is going to help raise the temperature up by a substantial margin at least getting it into a somewhat comfortable position that's kind of the best that i can hope for right now good lord hold on check this out you can kind of slightly see it it's not very obvious i'll zoom way in here look at the distortion in the air for the heat coming out of our heat pump system. Oh, that's a really cool graphical effect that I was not expecting. That's awesome. Eh, it does look like one unit might be struggling a little bit by itself. To be safe and prevent more pneumonia, let's go ahead and set up a second one of these air conditioners. And I'll have Quinn prioritize this one specifically. I think it's worth it, just to make sure that no one else is getting unnecessarily sick. Because, you know, if they get sick, you never know if they're going to get some sort of permanent damage to their bodies. Also, their mood goes down, their ability to do their jobs goes down, productivity falls through the floor. And I can't allow that, how can I? Alright, with the two units working together in different rooms uh, and sharing some of their impact through the vents, we'll see how effective these things are going to be. The kitchen's still looking a little bit cold. But it's within reason, at least. And now, of course, Quinn also has pneumonia. He's been working outside a bit too long. Admittedly, that's a problem. But it is suppressed now, so uh, get back to work. We do have access to the wooden fortifications now. 
Which kind of means that everything that Quinn's currently building is probably going to go to waste. But, I mean, don't tell him that. Um, he, he would only get discouraged. No, that's, that's really helpful, though. Now we're going to work on learning how to make electronics. Because with more electronics, I'll be able to get more things like wind uh, mills and other important things. Um, automated turrets are going to take not electronics. I think they take CPU cores. And unfortunately, I don't have any of those right now. Once we've got electronics, I'll be able to learn how to make CPUs. Takes a lot of silicon and some alloys. You know, that's not so bad. We do have pretty much all of that. What I don't have is a soldering bench. And that's something we're going to learn about pretty soon here. How's the temperature looking inside here? Ah, we're going to go to about 14, 15 degrees. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, the kitchen's the only one that's a little bit cold at 11 degrees right now. But this should be warm enough that, I mean, people aren't going to be, like, comfortable exactly. But it's not that bad out here. This is kind of okay. Now that said, with two AC units, we're actually running through our power pretty quick here. Really need to get myself, let's say, another one of these wind turbines. I think that's going to be a necessity here. We're almost at the point where our diesel generator should be turning on. And I think that's exactly what's happening, is it's turning on and off and on and off whenever we get about 300 power here. Which, uh, you know, that's okay. Um, what it means is we're not losing power right now. Um, we're using up some fuel to make sure that we never run out of electricity. And that's a good thing. I am, I am glad to know that I don't have to worry about running out of power entirely. I just would really prefer not to waste my fuel. That's a much more respectable charging rate. Okay, so that's going to help a lot. Jack is constantly having some trouble. He's, like, always getting down to a really low happiness before he comes back to base. Seems like sending some of your people in a long distance away to work on some other various different manual tasks, like hunting or whatever else... Uh, and exposing them to the elements does kind of tend to make them upset. Anyway, so we have a fence all set up at this point, which is great. I like that. Might want to set up a few additional traps. I know that's like a lot of scrap to start using up, but when animals start coming through here, um, and they don't like end up coming through and trying to break through your walls, I want them trapped here so I can just snipe them all down. Looks like we do have some coats available for everybody, so that's more or less done. Um, so now somebody's going to try to make some extra shoes. I like that. Oh, and is this the first proper snowfall I'm seeing over here? Either that or some really big giant up on the hill has a lot of dandruff and they're blow drying their hair with the window open right now. It's one of the two and I can never figure out which. Um, yeah, all right. That, that does mean that winter is about to be here and it's negative seven degrees Celsius outside. That is... Real stinking cold, and even inside with all of our air conditioning units, it's still pretty darn cold. Very difficult for us to uh, get enough heating in over here. Might be worth having a spare heater over here in the kitchen. It doesn't consume very much power, and every little bit of heat helps right now. Uh, it'd be nice if we had some really good wall insulation. That's what we really need. What's this? Did someone make a little- Someone made a little snowman! Oh, it's cute! It's got sticks and stuff on its head! I'm gonna name you Ted. Uh-oh, what's this? Aggressive animals. They are bigger things. Oh, those right there be huge mantises! Yeah, these are the things that I've been scared of. Um, they're the ones that could probably kill me. My question, what's the best way to deal with these? Answer, Jack, I need you to swap out to the big guns. And let's see if we can snipe these puppies down a little bit. What I don't know is, because they spawned over here, are they actually gonna, you know, run around? Or are they gonna just attack this gate? I've never tested the pathfinding this aggressively. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and draft him up, and let's get him in position. So, big bugs be that way, huh? Okay. Um, wait, you have this gate right here. You should be able to walk right through here. This is not interesting. Never mind. You can't path through this. Huh. Okay, good to know. Um, let's get over here then, and let's try... Whoa, where'd you go? Take a pot shot at a bug somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Big bug right over here. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, Jack, take a shot at this and get ready to run for your life. And I mean that quite literally. Run for your freaking life, dude. Never mind. Looks like he's able to do some pretty solid damage, and it has no idea how to get to him. Oh, this sniper rifle's amazing! I'm so glad I found this. This changes literally everything. Holy crud. <laughs> All right, Jack. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. All right, Jack's done some bug hunting. That's straight out of wh what? Uh, Starship Troopers? Or something along those lines. I don't know. All right, well, with electronics research, the next thing to work on is probably getting myself a soldering bench. And right over here would make a lot of sense. 
Or maybe like over here in the corner. Eh, it doesn't really matter too much. How about this is fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and get one of those set up. And we'll take some of the silicon that I have gathered from plants so far. And we'll be able to start making electronics. Also, I think I spotted something over here. Not that. Where are you? Is it this? Yes. Shiny rock. We have to observe this thing still. But I am pretty sure that this is a silicon rock. So those exist around rocky outcroppings as well. There's the soldering bench. Okay. Uh, we don't need to have a control circuit. We can do some crafting of these electronics, though. Let's do this until you always have, like, let's say four. So a fair number of alloys and a bit of silicon. I've done some soldering before. I also burned myself a few times. Everyone does. But uh, it's pretty fun, actually. Long time ago, when I was an intern as a uh, freshman engineering college, I actually got to rebuild some motherboards. That was a pretty fun process. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I'm mean, getting some electronics. Sure, I'm sure these guys are all perfectly qualified to know how to work circuitry. It's going to be a great. How's the temperature looking so far? About 17 degrees or so. We're, we're getting close to that 18 degree desired heat over here. All right, that's pretty good. And battery wise, ooh, it's not looking great. Mm, okay. Charges on occasion, but it really is highly dependent on the wind turbines. Ugh. We're going to start wasting a lot of fuel, I can tell you right now, until I can get some extra, I don't know, some extra solar panels or something. Oh god, we found smoke leaf. Uh-huh, okay, yep, 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 yep. Remarkably similar to tobacco, huh? Right, I actually got banned on my home world, don't ask me how I know this. Anyway, um, alkaloid stimulants, right, no hangovers or side effects that I know of. Sounds great, um, <laughs> it's these little guys right over here, huh? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, we, we, we can start planting a, a small crop of this. I guess I'm all right with that, sure. Apparently, we actually could use the smoke leaf plants to make tea instead. That is an alternative. Boil the leaves to get rid of the toxins. Is that how that works? Eh, okay, sure. Yeah, sounds like a storm might be rolling in somewhere. Snow's really starting to come down now. Yeah, we are well and truly in the midst of winter now. <sighs> okay, uh, yeah, gonna be, uh, gonna be great, I'm sure. We've learned how to make veggie armor. Don't, don't ask me why I want to make veggie armor. Alright, I just want to make veggie armor. Veggie armor is probably gonna be fine. Um, I don't know. The, the, the reason I'm thinking you might want some veggie armor is maybe in a pinch. It's another something to cover the body with protective somethings. I don't know. Not exactly gonna be great, right? Like, I, I don't think that veggie leather and veggie armor is gonna be a good thing, but... If we can't craft shirts, anything, anything is going to be better than bare skin. Ah, uh, dang it, though. It doesn't actually include a shirt recipe. Just jackets and pants and boots and stuff. Stuff I already was able to make. Dang it all the heck. All right, well, that ain't going to do it. Discovery. Pancoth. Oh, we found some sort of a small flying lizard. Huh. It's parrot-like, apparently. Uh, fairly common, and it's not really worth even bothering to hunt them. They're just cute. Cool. Oh, God. That is a lot more animals. Okay, they're not huge mantises. They're small mantises. But at the end of the day, they're still mantises. Right. Um, okay. Well, ugh, boy. This is going to be a little bit tougher to deal with. But, but, with my handy sniper rifle, I'm hoping we are going to end up being okay. Nonetheless, I actually think that that's going to be a good place for us to end this particular video. We've made a good amount of progress over here. We've expanded out a nice, warm crafting area. Everyone is able to stay warm during the winter, and I say warm, and you know, kind of relatively. Heck, Quinn's even playing a didgeridoo right now. I mean, of all the instruments to choose, I think that is probably the best one you could possibly go for. We're loaded up on wine, we're loaded up on food, we are stocked up for winter, and we've even got the ability to start making our own electronics, which is going to open up a whole load of new stuff including laser pistols, pulse rifles. If you want to start getting some CPUs, we can set up some turrets, and we could even go for some really big defenses, palisades, towers, you know, death traps, all that kind of stuff all over the place. Because as you're noticing, the bugs are kind of ramping up in difficulty. I kind of miss the tiny little scarabs now. It was cute when they were actually the primary threat. These guys are terrifying. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.